Now Abram and Sarai had lived many years in the land of Canaan. When Abram was ninety-nine years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the Almighty God. I will make my covenant between me and you, and you will become the father of many nations. You will no longer be called Abram. Your name will now be called Abraham, and your wife Sarai will now be called Sarah. As God was speaking to Abraham, he fell face down onto the ground. God told Abraham, You will have many descendants after you. Your family will increase in number, and kings will come from your family line. This covenant between us will last forever. This is my promise to you. Abraham never forgot what God had promised him many years before. At that time, the Lord came to Abram in a vision and said, Fear not, Abram, I am your shield and great reward. Then God brought Abram out of his tent and pointed at the night sky filled with stars and said, Now look to the heavens and count the stars. If you are able to count them, so your children will be. Abram had faith and believed that God would one day fulfill that promise. Then God told Abraham, As for your wife Sarah, I will bless her, and I will give you a son by her. When Abraham heard this, he was so surprised that he laughed and asked God, Will a man who is one hundred years old and a woman who is ninety have a child? But God answered Abraham, Your wife Sarah will have a son, and you will call him Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him, and all his family and my covenant will never end. I will return to you about this time next year, and by then your wife Sarah will have a son. Abraham's wife Sarah just happened to be listening behind the door of the tent, and she began laughing at the thought of having a baby in her old age and said, Will I really have a child when Abraham and I are so old? Then God said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you next year, and you will have a son. This scared Sarah very much, so she replied, I did not laugh. But God answered and said, Yes, Sarah, you did laugh. The following year, just as God had promised to Abraham and Sarah, they had a son and they named him Isaac. By the faith of Abraham and Sarah, they received from God the gift of a son, Isaac. And even though they were very old, from their son Isaac came many descendants, as many as the stars in heaven and grains of sand by the seashore.